Hey guys, welcome to Game Feed. My name is Panzo6, and today we're talking about video game remasters and if they're worth it or not. Now, uh, there's been a trend in the last couple of years of uh, games being released or re released as remasters, and that's either like a visual upgrade, uh, definitive edition, or ultimate edition. And um, a lot of people's wondering if this is well worth it or if this is a good practice. And I have uh, my two cents I want to put in on it. This won't be a very long video, maybe about six, seven minutes, but I just want to get to the point. Now, um, good reason for remasters. I will go ahead and do the pro here. And the good reason to have it is to allow somebody who did not get a chance to play this game to play it um, as a better version with better graphics, um, the way it's meant to be played. Now, good examples of this is the recent Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which just came out today, and I will have some gameplay I'll be uh, showing you guys here in the next couple days I've got recorded, and it's actually really good. Um, same goes with Halo re uh, Collection, um, uh, Nathan Drake Collection's coming out, and there's a bunch of remasters that I could go on for 20 minutes on just what's coming, what's been out, and what's not out. Now, like I said, it's a good good way to get people back into the games. Um, if you haven't played it before, you get, get to experience for the first time, or if you want to experience it in better graphics, and sometimes they, they will even put it on a newer engine. Um, rather, I think uh, Ultimate Edition of Gears, I don't know for sure. I think it is running on the uh, Gears of War 4 engine. I'm not sure, but don't quote me on that. But um, I like seeing this. Uh, if the game is um, remastered in a way where it feels like a brand new game uh, without um, destroying the integrity of the original, I'm fine with that. Uh, maybe add some extra stuff or all the DLC, um, but don't destroy it. Um, I'm fine, perfectly fine with that. But um, we're getting to the point where we're releasing these games uh, just to get some extra money and I don't like seeing games that just released uh, maybe a year ago on the Xbox 360 or X PS3 get another edition on the PS4 now the last of us was fine uh, Tomb Raider definitive edition that was okay and uh, now we're getting uh, Dishonored the definitive edition Sleeping Dogs some of these games looked perfectly great on uh, the last generation hardware and with uh, the Xbox One having backwards compatibility um, I don't think we're going to see as much um, on Microsoft side uh, maybe you'll see more on Sony side because they don't have backwards compatibility unless you want to play with PS Now which I don't care for I tried it out um, I don't want to stream the game um, and have to pay for it and not keep it because I already bought these games. You know, a lot of these games I already owned. And uh, the only reason why I would repurchase the games is if they have a, you know, maybe a collection or um, updated graphics. Like, I'm really excited about the Nathan Drake collection. And uh, the Gears of War Ultimate Edition, that's fantastic. But um, I don't really see a big reason to buy into these things unless you're a collector or if you're wanting to you know experience it in a new way which that's fine um but the downside to all of this is we're getting a lot of these too often and i kind of already covered that a little bit just through my little uh discombobulated rant but um it's almost getting to the point where we're just milking something just because you know grant that out of five um, it, it was remastered, re-released for the uh, Xbox One, PS4. We all knew this was going to happen. Uh, right, right when it came out, we knew that you know Grand Theft Auto V came out, and one year later we had the Xbox One, and PS4. There was no way in hell that game was not going to come out on these consoles. There's no way in hell it wasn't going to come out on PC. So it came out, and it looks fine. But the good thing about it, it did have some extra things, uh, extra bells and whistles, such as first-person view, um, new effects, uh, more stuff to not specifically do, but there's just more things. Um, 
you know, more traffic, even kittens, so that's cool. But, um, I don't think there was a reason to have something like Devil May Cry re-released or Sleeping Dogs re-released. Um, and even Tomb Raider, I don't think that should have been re-released. But it's just a trend. Um, there's not, there, instead of, you know, using all that resource to make this remaster, unless it's, like I said, a com remake of the game, that's perfectly fine, but uh, remastering something in 1080p, 60 frames per second, why don't you just make a sequel or a new IP? That's perfectly fine. I think that would be great. But um, I don't see, from here on out, I don't see us having much more of these remasters just since, you know, we have backwards compatibility. That's a thing now. Um, if you want the definitive diver version of a game, you're going to play it on PC. Unless it's an exclusive to consoles, then, you know, go ahead and play it on consoles. But to get to my point, is remasters worth buying? Yes. They are worth buying only if you haven't played the game or if you want to try it out see it in you know all four your four uh it's awesome hd 1080p 60 frame per second glory um that's the only way i would recommend it if you don't care about any of that stuff or if you played the game on a previous console it's not worth it but it's totally up to you i personally i'm fine with it as long as it's done in moderation but um that's all i have to say about it um hopefully it came off um, my words worked on that, <laughs> but, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll have more, some more gameplay videos this week. I'll also have a new episode of Let's Talk and I hope you guys hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for stopping by and you guys have a wonderful evening.